Hi, you guys. So I'm going to make this quick, quicker than five minutes, hopefully. I just want to remind everybody because this is, um, I was reminded and it kind of took the edge off. Um, it kind of grounded me a little bit. Watching a call for uprising try to um, bridge what's going on right now with the war in Israel. He's taking the opportunity to try to use this as an awakening tool to highlight um, what many of us know that we have um, a certain sector in Israel, I'll just say Z-I-O, and um, he's tried to use this as an awakening tool to try to help people. Um, he's slowly but surely calmed down because <laughs> he can go on a rant, um, but he's trying to also use that. He's doing a good job now. He's doing a good job. But to remind people, to remember, let's just say it like this. We're as Christians, those that are looking for the rapture, we know that the tribulation or the, um, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble, you guys, is um, primarily for God's disciplining or, um, well, disciplining of Israel and all the unbelievers, but primarily for the discipline of Israel because they rejected him when he was first, rejected Christ when he was first here, his only begotten son, okay? And we look at things beginning to happen, we're looking at Bible prophecy unfold, and we're definitely looking at for the rapture, and we know that next um, Jacob's trouble will start, we'll be home. But I've had a listen to his videos, and as you see here on the screen, there's a text from my girlfriend. She's going back, you know, she said this, this Haman and um, uh, Esther living amongst Persian dysphoria who finds favor with the king, becomes queen, and risks her life to save the Jewish people from the destruction when the court official Haman, she's, she said Haman reminded her of Hamas and the fact that he was Persian. Um, it, and this was um, today's daily devotional, and I'll end the video. That's from Charles Stanley, but I'll end the video with that. R try to remember, um, because... As he's pointed out, there is propaganda. Um, as we know, those in this world stage, you know, during any crisis, and particularly this one, scare tactics, fear tactics, propaganda um, is being used. But if we as Christians go back to the Bible and just remember what God says, remember that ultimately... The time of grace is just about done. Okay? It's done. And why is almost done. Um, we're the generation, the future generation, okay, that will see the return of Jesus Christ. Um, but they're unbelievers, they're Satanists, they're cultists, they're Kabbalists, they're, they're not only Judaism, there's Mormonism, there's Catholicism, there's Orthodox Russian, there's all different types of um, false religions, false beliefs, ultimately rejection of Christ as Lord and Savior, recognizing God as the one and only true God. So... It kind of took, it kind of, like I said, it took the edge off of <laughs> watching everything that's going on. It kind of brought things back down. Maybe search my Bible. I'm searching other things. Um, we tend to skip over or overlook uh, um, genealogy and sometimes just skip over. Um, where certain people are 
that are mentioned in the Bible, the different groups. Um, but when you see those things, when they're relevant, <laughs> as they're relevant now, just like the text I showed you, um, it kind of puts things in perspective. I'll read this first. Like I said, there, I almost went down a rabbit trail in the last 36 hours. But I don't think we have time for that. But it was a good, it was a good tool to ground me and to clear up some of the cognitive dissonance or the fog um, and made some connections that bring me back ultimately to God's word. Okay? Then I'll read two or three verses. And then Paul stood in the midst of Marcio and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar within, with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignor ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to, he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for, who, for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he, though he be not far from every one of us. For in, for in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said. For you are also his offspring. He was talking, he was referring to, he was using words of Greek philosophy to refer to the one and living true God um, as he was trying to let them know. <laughs> We're talking about you need to believe in this one true God. Okay? Um, I just want to remind everybody this, we can go back and we can look at um, history, we can look at bloodlines, genealogy, and it, it'll make things, it's, it's a good thing, it'll make things, it'll pick things in a whole, um, in, a, in a better perspective, and the fact that we're so distracted, it's, it's sometimes hard for us to go back and want to even read those things, okay? That's what I'll be doing today as much as I can, but I am a uh, of course, keeping my eye on the news and waiting for our blessed hope because this this is it, you guys. This is it. The time of Jacob's trouble. Forget why. Just know when and when is now. <laughs> okay? Not forget, but you know what I mean because that's the whole point of this video. For For Israel... The unbelief and the rest of the world, the unbelief, is all the, the age of grace is about to come to an end. I love you guys. Hopefully I'll come back and make a video on some, some other things that I've been wanting to, but I want to share this with you guys. All right? Talk to you later.